No, it doesn't matter. Here. Oh, good. Commentate Kanye. Yeah, commentate your good friend Kanye. Alright. So, I'm not sure if this is a button check or if this is the actual set. But, uh... Not? Okay. Alright, they're getting into it. Ness Puff. Interesting matchup. I haven't seen it before. Um, I can already imagine how it goes. Puff, Ness kind of acts like a pseudo puff. His aer his aerial mobility is really good, and he spaces moves in the air for the most part. So the matchup's gonna be like a battle of the aerial like aerials, pretty much spacing aerials. Yeah. And he's not gonna be able to like Puff's gonna be able to edge guard him. Meanwhile, uh, like really hard. Meanwhile, Ness is gonna have be better off stage or not off stage on stage. Excuse me. Gotcha. Throw out those arrows. And then the edge guard is going to be different. Where Con yeah, Connie's going to make sure he throws himself out there. Sai guy doesn't have to. He just has PK fire, PK thunder, then down smash. Right, right. That was a very interesting uh, F smash earlier by Connie on the shield. Oof, Connie Ooh. is doing excellent right now. He got some, has him off stage. This should be the stock. Okay, he uh, doesn't want to challenge it. I understand that. It's Ness's up B is actually a lot bigger in this game. Um, and if you don't time your aerial perfectly, and even sometimes if you just get unlucky, you'll end up getting hit by it. And in this game, you can't tech it like past 50 ish, depending on what percent, is, what percent you're at. Right now, Kanye is, again has him off stage. Great Ooh. back air. Wow, the way he timed that back air was just great. Like, PSI guy already had his fair out, but he timed it so that the disjoint would eat the fair and then uh, punish him. All right, got him with the down throw, kind of lets him land there. Down throw is 15, too. Wow. I feel like Puff, they realize that they can't really give her combos, so they, they make her like throws and individual moves do more damage. I think that is a better option. As a result. I'm very surprised that he can kill, actually. Yeah, great DI coming out from Kanye. Good punish. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, what do we have here? No, yep, classic Kanye. Kanye. <laughs> Kanye. Classic Kanye. Dude, that was, that was such a sick setup. Can you tell him one minute? He almost, he almost was, had a Twitch clip. That was honestly like... That was so good, and then he just missed. I honestly didn't think he would go to sleep off of like the pratfall or the right. The yeah, off. I hadn't seen that before either. I thought he was gonna have to wait to get up, but that was really that was really smart. It looked like he'd practice that, except for the rest part. Yeah, All right, he's, he's wow, Kanye right now is just he's pretty dominating so far. Like if he didn't miss that rest, it would have been even more like crazy. All right, got to do pound is amazing in this game. The hitbox is massive as it's always been. It already does more shields to uh, shield stun, mm -hmm. and it and it has it feels like it launches at a better like it, she, it allows Puff to follow up more consistently. Wow, that was such a good wow, Puff, that dude. Was so scary. PSI right, guy right now is looking pretty lost versus this Puff. He's just he's just getting out like he's he's losing his own game. Like he's Ness is getting out Ness um, <laughs> neutral wise. No, yeah, but you know it's still Ness. It's not. It's not completely out yet. Oh yeah, absolutely not. Uh, PSI can definitely bring this back. And right now, oh please punish this. Oh, oh just jumping over it. I mean, sometimes it's really, it's especially in tournament, you get nervous. You just want to respect it. You don't want to mess up. Oh my. Oh goodness. yeah, we're going out there. My goodness, Kanye just cleans up that game. Two stock, 91%. Game one going to Kanye. But especially with that rollout, I'm surprised he didn't try to go for PK fire. Right. If he went to ledge, it probably would have two framed. If he went at him, it would have run into him. And that's that's the kind of thing you usually see Sai guy throw out a lot against people off stage. That time he, he he just didn't know what to do, so he didn't want to risk right. it. I figured he would have um, thrown out a yo-yo or something, just a long-lasting, big disjointed hitbox to punish it. But at the same time, I feel like he wasn't in the right position. He didn't have enough time. He to, wasn't like, confident. To pretty much, yeah. So he just let it roll through because he don't want to get hit by it, right? Like yeah. you can go for the punish, and if you're very on point, you'll get the punish. But in a situation where you're already down um, and you're not feeling so confident. Let it go past you. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> in game two, running it back to a uh, PS2. Yeah. Probably uh, decided to run it back. I was wondering, maybe, maybe you just confident. Oh, I just need to fix a couple of things. Right. right. I'm just not sure if these platforms right here are too good. Because every time he was on that platform, it was so scary. Because if Connie read the right thing, he would take so much damage. Mm -hmm. And even in this game, we could see a rest setup if he uh, gets confident enough. I think PSI actually just like, just likes this stage. Um, and when it comes to the platforms. As long as he doesn't allow them to come into play to his not not to his favor, then he'll be he'll be good. Um, unless Kanye like abuses him really hard, which I don't see really happening unless he's consistently winning neutral, which he did last game. But right now, PSI is looking like he's cleaned up a lot of his holes by uh, his play. Ooh, I think he definitely wanted that smash there, Ooh. even though I don't think it would have connected. But it was definitely has more range enough to. Engineering right out of the, that screen, Kanye tried to go for. Got him with the pound. You see what Kanye did there? He he didn't go for an immediate follow up. He knew the PSI guy would throw out a move like the second he got hit. He just mistimed the, or he like misjudged where he was going to end up after the pound. Uh, right. Fire setups. 
And with the with the weight of Jigglypuff, once you get hit by that, a lot of the times you're gonna just see your jump out and not right, really try right. to go for a roll. And PSI got counter for that, so he he dashed past the PK fire and tried to punish the the jump away with the up smash. He probably thought he was gonna land right afterwards. All right, pretty even game, so well done. Actually, I thought I'm sorry, I thought I forgot about the stocks. Two, yeah, two, it was two to two. But uh, PSI guys a pretty hefty lead right now. Yeah, oh my Kanye's, goodness, Kanye's really throwing himself out there for this uh, kill, oh and it's not looking goodness. like it's. All right, PSI guy looking like it's looking like a trade out. Like a, wait, did he taunt? No, no, I think that was yeah. Uh, PSI guy looking like it's like, looking like a uh, reverse of the first game that we saw. Oh, okay, that was really good. Punish the PK fire, jumping there. Jigglypuff's aerials are just so strong, like they, they actually hurt. kill. Oh yeah, did a lot of shield damage there. You know, shields don't regenerate as quickly in this game either. I've, I've noticed. And it really does, yeah. It really weakened the defensive game and promoted the offensive game, and I right, really like right. that. I can't believe the shield didn't break there. Oh my goodness, another power. Yeah, another he's going to keep going for that. He needs. He knows he. It's needs, a really good move. It's, he, he needs a, a good hit right now to bring this back. All right. He's definitely capable. Okay, so I got, okay good. All right, got the. He can fire into fair. Good stuff. Right, Could get the tech chase there. A lot of the, in a lot of situations, teching away from Puff is ideal because she's too slow to follow you, unless she's already in the air. Because her aerial mobility is like a lot better than the ground, obviously. But uh, teching away, I wouldn't say always do it, but it's definitely like a very good, good way. Yeah. Okay, yeah. excellent. Yeah. No. No use in, no use in trying to risk it. And maybe he'll right, bring right. it back. Just wait for that. That was a really good wait on, wait on, uh, on the sing there. Yeah, definitely looking like a completely different game from game one. Like game one, Kanye was just so dominating. I think it's because he got his stride early and then just didn't allow Saiga to play. Whereas in that game, Saiga kind of got the first blood and he ran away with it. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, it's going to be interesting to see where Kanye decides to counterpick. All right, oh, back, back to PS2. It's fair. I mean, I, I don't really see the stage so far in, this, in, in the match between these two players. Specifically, I don't see the stage coming to play too much. You know, they both want to, they both have a lot of benefits for it. Right, right. All right, getting into game three, PSI guy versus Kanye, both of them took, like, commanding games, right? Like They were game, both two stocks. Yeah, the game one wasn't closed, game two wasn't closed, but it's game three right now, so it's a technically close set. All yeah. right, good punishes out of shield. It's two nares in a row. And again, Ness, like, it's kind of like a situation of who swings first and who can punish it. Ness, like, jump fair, expecting Kanye to jump, but Kanye held his ground and punished the fair. He's off stage. Air dodge to the ledge. Right. Right, trying to go for double up air. Right, immediately went for double up air, but he was able to land in time to pressure him in neutral. I feel like he overextended there with that fair. He could have just held his uh, ground, kept Kanye at the, kept Kanye in the corner. Yeah, it definitely feels like they're both uh, really swinging hard, especially they're trying to keep their advantages up, but they're trying to look right. too hard for it. It's crazy how quick the situations just change. I like, can't believe like in, in, in a second, like in a second, one one player goes from the corner to cornering the opponent. Back Unsafe wow. back there. Yeah, that wasn't very well spaced. And I feel like yes, that guy like he forced it to not be spaced. Kanye was like, wasn't expecting him to dash in and shield. He just dashed in shield, shield grab. A lot of like a lot of the times, it's the simple punishes that get you the most uh, the most out of what you want. Like right there, he could have like parried the back air or something. He could have like punished, like with punished it, but he just like dashed all the way in and got the. Oh wow! Okay, caught the jump. That's something I noticed in this game. Um, the best options out of shield or people's favorite options are either roll an aerial out of shield or just a full hop or a short hop because shield drop is so laggy. And Connie did an excellent job punishing there. Yeah. Right, they get under, uh, kind of running into the stage there. So pretty decent lead for uh, Sly Guy, but this isn't anything that Connie can't bring back. Right. Okay. Catch him. Uh, really in the game right now. He didn't get tech in. The Sly Guy could have reversed him there, but he didn't press anything. I don't think either were confident that that situation was going to happen. Right, right. I feel like a lot of the time, if you see a Ness like tech and they immediately they like match the move, the Sly Guy there decided not to. Which is, I think, in the grand scheme, is better because he shows that he thinks when he's in disadvantage. Yeah, that was a better space back here. He hit him and then drifted away. He doesn't want right. to get back thrown at like 70%. That was a very risky fair, jumping fair for PSI guy, but uh, Kanye ended up getting chipped by it barely. See right there, as I said, this game is like who can play the like who can play the the aerial spacing game best because they both have incredible aerial mobility. Right now, you can just see it in full force, jumping back and forth, spacing their aerials. 
It's entertaining to watch. I never thought I'd say that about a Puff match. And as you can see, a lot of people like to say, you know, Puff is lame. Ooh. Oh, great up smash. But right now, Kanye is like, just he's playing neutral, dude. This, this is incredible. Yeah, he definitely has been calling out Psy Guy for jumping a lot with those up mm -hmm. smashes. That's really good. Instead of trying to punish the move itself, he just punished the startup of it. Right, right. And he's like, how is he going to react to the way I jump in with Puff? And, and yeah, Psy Guy's thinking the same thing. You know, I thought we were going to see a rest there. So did I. I think Connie's going to look for a safer option to try to go for a rest punish. You really don't want to bring this to a last hit situation. It's so hard to grab Puff when she's jumping. Oh, he teched in again. I think that time Connie expected him not to tech at all. Because the angle he got sent at was crazy. Oh, yeah, we actually Good haven't seen, uh, oh we haven't seen Saiga throw out an up smash yet. Back risky here. position, risky. Oh! oh all right, that's I think it. he's dead. That's yeah. it, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, oh, he went for the disrespect. I like it. All right, good stuff to Kanye, and I got to go play. <laughs> Pleasure commentating with you. Pleasure commentating the match. Good luck with your, uh, with your match. Fans, get back over here.